Okay, everybody, the next series of videos that will be released eventually for Real Home Recording is plug-in companies that I haven't ever talked about or rarely talked about. I don't want to not include anybody, you know, but time is of the essence and I just don't have time to check out every single plugin that's out there. Believe me, I lo would love to be able to do that. But anyway, let's flip through a bunch of different companies so you guys can see a preview of what's going to happen. Metric Halo, McDSP, PSP AudioWare, Liquid Sonics, Scuffham, Sonimus, or Sonimus, GPU Audio. Actually, they contacted me last week, so I'm not sure if I'm going to interview the one of the people that worked there or whatever. But anyway, GPU Audio, new company. Sound Magic, I have reviewed their Blue Grand virtual instrument, but they actually sell audio effect plugins. Then we have Overloud, I have talked about Overloud before, and I plan on talking about them again. Massenburg Design Works, again, I will be doing individual videos for these companies in upcoming videos. Waves Factory, although I talked about them, I never really showed their plugins off on here aberrant dsp pretty new company tb pro audio um i think i actually have talked to, yes i have talked about them vaguely and i have talked about their mv meter too if you guys remember that but um never really messed around with their other effects so I'll be coming back to them. Universal Audio. Not because I don't like the company, but I don't have UAD hardware. <laughs> so once UAD Spark comes to Windows, and I tried to highlight that and it clicked on it instead. Great. Runs natively on Mac, but not Windows yet. All right, then we have Matt or Mate or whatever. Anyway, Matt Digital. Good times. URS, very old plugin company. In fact, uh, the last time they put out news was in 2016. But their website is still up, so, you know, maybe I'll check them out. DDMF, I mean, I talk about them mainly for their IIEQ Pro plugin, but, you know, there's been many products that they put out over the years that I haven't had a chance to check out yet. So, I'll be back to talk about DDMF. Variety of Sound. They are actually releasing 64-bit versions of their uh, all, their, all their different plugins. And yes, they are back active, as you can see on the blog post here. Now, it's been a bit. But uh, yeah, check out all these different posts that were made this past year. Right? Right? I was so happy to see, uh, I believe his name is Herbert, posting again. Still well. I don't believe they've released a new plugin in years. But what they did release is good stuff. So, DMG Audio. Now, here's a company that I praised heavily with their Equilibrium program plugin. Sorry. But... They also have other excellent plugins. Track Comp 2 is one that I've really been meaning to check out. And then we also have, um, what was the other one? It was the noise reduction. Oh, here it is. Gate. Track Gate. Or not Track Gate. Go back. Expert Gate. Yeah, there we go. And Limitless. Apparently, a lot of people say Limitless is the best limiter plugin out there. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah. One day, I will check out some more DMG audio plugins. Moving on. Analog Obsession. Now, I have talked about them briefly, but I really have not demoed their plugins out on Real Home Recording, but I will eventually. <laughs> I can't promise anything, uh, but I'm going to say before the end of the year. Blend EQ, to me, stuck out because it combines Neve equalizers with API equalizers. 
Now, how cool is that? And I actually am hoping that there are upcoming, you know, we'll call them Frankenstein plugins coming out. Actually, they have a pl uh, equalizer called Frank EQ. There it is. <laughs> yeah, there's Frank EQ as I was typing that. So this one combines, it looks like possibly a Helios or, oh man, what is the name of that plugin? I can't, Harris, maybe, maybe, maybe Harrison and a Poltec and an API and a Neve and another Pol Poltec all in one plugin. I may be wrong about the H1. Anyway, Native Instruments. This is known as possibly one of the best LA-2A plugins, the VC-2A from Native Instruments. I think they have other plugins as well, but um, I just honestly haven't checked any of them out, and I should have by now. Steinberg, the reason I haven't checked out any of their plugins, really simple. USB e-licensor required. I don't own one of them, therefore I can't use their software. Simple as that. Moving on, Solid State Logic. Yes, that Solid State Logic. They have their own official plugins out. One of them is called Air Conditioner 2.0. Um, no, seriously though, the SSL Complete Bundle subscription. Uh, they have their SSL Fusion plugins, which oddly enough are made into individual modules instead of all in the, you know one plugin. I guess that works better for GUI purposes. But anyway, um, yeah, they have a bunch of different plugins out there. The one I've really wanted to check out is their bus compressor to compare it to other companies. And they also have a channel strip, which I'm, I, I can't see right now. Oh, and the AC is fully going to kick on now. Okay, oh, here it is. Native channel strip too. So yeah, it's very expensive though. That's probably one reason why I haven't really checked out SSL's plugins is because of how much they cost you know the ones that i actually would personally like but because they are a subscription service now maybe i can make an exception moving on kilo hertz or hearts and i'm gonna turn this ac off i thought i could speak quickly enough but i guess not anyway kilo hearts if you are a slate digital uh, subscriber you probably have heard of their plugins and um, yeah, different stuff from them. They also had their subscription service. But uh, yeah, moving on. Speaking of Slate Digital, look at all these plugins. Sadly, I have not reviewed a Slate Digital plugin properly since FG Bomber. I've talked about FG Stress. Uh, I, I think I've talked about their gate plugin but right around this time fg bomber you know that they've had they've released so many plugins over the years oh you know what i did review their verb suite classics plugin but um yeah plenty of plugins that i have not talked about from slate digital and i'm sorry because they released some cool plugins. Boz Digital Labs. Yeah, they have a bunch of different interesting plugins that I have not talked about. Even their free ones I, I could have talked about. But uh, yeah, well, at least, you know, Pensado talked about them and this guy wearing some kind of Christmas sweater uh, <laughs> collared shirt thing. That guy kind of looks like the bass player from Nirvana. Anyway, moving on. Melda Production, haven't talked about them ever. Baby Audio, I think I talked about one plugin. Yeah, this one. And that was the end of that relationship because I, I did not put out a positive review. So I never heard from Baby Audio again. But that's okay. I can still, you know, try out their plugins just like anybody else. And uh, check out their stuff. Super VHS. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely revisit Baby Audio in the future. And let's see. This is, I believe, Den yeah, Denise Audio. Their logo is super tiny up here. Um, yeah, Denise Audio. 
I did mean to review the uh, perfect room and uh, yeah, I, I just, I didn't want to do it because at the time there was a bug in the plugin and I think that bug's been fixed by now. If it hasn't, uh, shame on Denise, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been fixed like a long time ago. So I will be revisiting that and maybe checking out this bad tape two plugin. Interesting. <laughs> Next up, I should say, is Audio Thing. And yeah, they have a bunch of different plugins like other companies, but you know. Oh, look, I like how they put that right in the center. No iLock. Up to three computers and no internet required to activate. Wow, that's actually pretty unique. SoftTube. Now, here's a company I actually interviewed in person. In person. But I never. I don't think I've ever talked about any of their plugins. I mean, I may have talked about them, but I never reviewed them as far as I can remember. And SoftTube are, are definitely OGs. So, anyway, what is this M Empirical Labs? <gasps> They're the ones that put out Lil Freak? No way. I didn't know that. Okay. That's pretty neat. Oh, speaking of Empirical Labs, Empirical Labs themselves have their own plugins. I don't have that tab loaded up, but yeah. Anyway, Sugar Bites. Remember Sugar Bites had some kind of controversy years ago because Avid like basically stopped them from having their... I think you could put VST plugins into AAX back when AAX was a brand new format and there weren't a lot of plugins out there and then apparently uh, they were threatened by Avid anyway <laughs> yeah I haven't checked them out in a while like ever I don't think UVI I actually met this company at the AES convention and I just never um, looked into their software so I should do that soon Eventide, I did talk about their, um, what was it, the, the channel strip, the Ultra Channel, but, oh, they, they have a time alignment plugin, that's cool. Subsample delay, interesting. They have cool plugins such as the H3000, so I should probably check out Eventide's plugins in the future. Newfangled Audio. Uh, Elevate is a really cool plugin, and I is it is it Equivocate? I don't know if it's Equivocate. Anyway, they have some unique plugins. We'll just put it that way, and uh, yeah, Weak Sound, Soothe, and Spiff. It's their two plugins, but they are darn good plugins. In fact, Soothe Two is one I wish I had, but uh, maybe in the future. I love what it did to this very harsh vocal uh, when I did the trial and I just was like, man, I should have charged more to mix this song because I could have bought this. <laughs> but anyway, I have a lot of, you know, de harshener plugins, but this one just works so well, you know. Anyway, Sound Theory Golfus, Golf Foss, Floss. Seagull floss. Anyway, uh, this is like an art artificial intelligence plugin, and um, yeah, I'm a fan of stuff that makes my job easier, where I can't, you know, decide on whether my EQ is good or not sometimes, or maybe put it after I've already EQ'd something. Sonox. Here's another company I talked to at AES. I interviewed the people from Sonox. Sonix. Sonix. Sonix? Sonox? Anyway. Yep. I will check out more of their plugins in the future. And what is this one? Ooh. I, uh, I believe Audio Ease. Is that what that logo is? Yeah. That's a, another tiny logo. Um, anyway, their most famous plugin is Altiverb which is an expensive um, convolution reverb plugin, but it's expensive because it's designed primarily for people who work in Hollywood. 
But yeah, they also apparently have some kind of plugin called Indoor, which again helps with people who do like, it's called ADR, or it's technically called Automatic dialogue replacement there's but there's nothing automatic about it and then speakerphone's another one that i uh had wanted to try for a long time so you know a a lot of these plugins are again designed for hollywood sound mixers who do um, sound design work and yeah next up we have antaris antaris they are the makers of AutoTune, but they make other plugins as well. But AutoTune by far is their most famous plugin. In fact, AutoTune is a verb now, and it is a part of, uh, what do they call it? It is a, a household name. It may be the only audio plugin that's a household name, and I think that is a very in- interesting distinction to have. But yeah, I will check out AutoTune. I'm sorry. Antares plugins in the future. Do they still sell that like microphone simulator plugin? Is it called Mic Mod? I thought it was called something else. Whenever I talk about Auto Tune, I also have to talk about this company that puts out Melodyne. Because Melodyne, it's arguably, I should say, the better plugin of the two. Capstan. What is Capstan? There is now, for the first time, a program capable of removing wow and flutter from recorded music, whether on tape, compact, cassette, wax, shellac, or vinyl. That is nice. This is like a new company, and I honestly don't even know what their names are. Uh, oh, Techovation. There we go. So Techovation, they have a new plugin called T-Warmer, and they have some other plugins out as well. And I think I'm, get, I'm getting close to the end here. Acon Digital, not a, not Acorn, Acon, and uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? That actually reminds me. There's a uh, company that are, are they the ones who put out Flux? Here we go. Yep. Okay, so Acon, I'll check them out. One of their most famous plugins, I believe. Is it Acoustica? Is that this is the one? This is the Reverb, right? No. No, it's, a, it's an audio editing program. I thought they put a, a, a reverb, though. No, I thought they... Uh, uh, well, anyway. Flux, I was just talking about them. I loaded them up. So they have a plugin called ePure. And is it their only product? <laughs> or wait, hold on. Here's other ones. That's what I thought. Okay. So actually, they have a bunch of other products. I don't know why I thought that. Anyway, I need to go to bed. But here we go. Good times, good times. Moving on. Oh, that's it. So yeah, I will be checking out all these different companies in the future so that I'm not leaving anybody out. If I did leave a company out that I should check out that is somewhat obscure, please leave their names below and I will add them to the to-do list, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. This has been Adam for youknowwhat.com.